you believe it? you to look to the sky it is not a religious cliche that comes from my my voice says the Lord I do not have cliches I am not repetitious I need not do the same thing twice do I only one Jericho only one burning bush Only one Christ, no more. For in this day and age, they have looked to the source for energy and said, We are drying up, though we have billions in the earth. And the pimps of this nation. have said you will not tap the resources under the earth and the spirit of the Lord says because I have set man as the governor of his own deeds and I have set man as the God of this earth I will honor that I will honor when laws are made but the Spirit of the Lord says, I will then find another way. I will use my sea. I will use my earth. I will use my universe. There is a source of energy coming from all of these. Elisha brought it from the trees. Elisha brought it from the flower. And healed the poison pot Elisha knew that the earth had to yield its resources its produce to him therefore in this day I have raised up your young men and your young women to be the benefactors to be the recipients to be the joint heirs with you 
of unusual breakthroughs. I will bring it from your seas. I will bring it from your from your, your earth. I will bring it from the sky. And now, America shall not be crippled, nor shall it be the whore of this pimp that has spoken in order to sell you to the princes of Babylon. Have they not tried it before? But they are puppets in my hand, says the Lord. And your enemy has said, what mystery can we try and understand? Your enemy understands no mysteries. What mystery? Had he understood the mystery of the Lord, he would not have crucified the Lord on high. Somebody say yes. Three years into this presidency and fire shall come forth as the fire that came from forth from Abimelech in Judges chapter 9 to destroy his own people. And God said, what took place? If you don't know the story, my dear saints, the Lord says, go and read Judges chapter 9. For Abimelech appointed himself as the king, but he had to kill 70 of his brothers in order to get to the top. And in that time, God says, in those three years he reigned, but the end came when fire came out of him to consume his own people. And God said, the people ran into a tower. They were afraid of King Abimelech. He ran towards them and started to burn up the tower. And all of those in the tower were afraid. But hear me out, says the Lord. A woman threw a millstone, a rock.
say, why are you speaking the mystery, the mystery prophet? God says, listen, it was a woman who threw the rock upon the skull of Abimelech, a king appointed himself, murdering the values and the models of this country, taking away, they tried, the national day of prayer. Would they remove me? No, they cannot. For there is a generation that have been excluded. And they have said, we will not teach them the Bible, but we will teach them evolution. And because of that, they thought they'd won the victory. But these people, these young men and women have become more and more and more hungry. Saying there's got to be a spiritual power. There has to be a spiritual force. And the Spirit of God says they will emerge as the... As the, as the ruling system in the church begins to fall and the resources dry up and it no longer has its power, these shall arise and there will be house churches all over America, says the Lord. House churches, every street in this nation shall have a church, says the Lord. Side to the dead, and they will raise up the dead, says the Lord. 